Thank you for purchasing the Janome Memory Craft 12,000. This is a two-in-one sewing and embroidery machine incorporating many unique features including variable zigzag, automatic presser foot up-down control, pivot sewing, dual feed device, automatic thread cutter, automatic cloth guide, extra retractable light, and direct PC link capability to fulfill dedicated sewists, patchwork quilters, and machine embroidery enthusiasts every need. By attaching the sleek embroidery unit onto the machine, the Memory Craft 12000 instantly converts to an embroidery machine. Various sizes of the embroidery hoops are provided, so you can embroider designs from as small as 20 millimeters square to as large as 230 by 300 millimeters. The machine comes with useful accessories, like dual feed feet and a Horizon Link software package. For large project sewing and quilting, an extra wide table is also available. We're sure you'll be glad you chose the Memory Craft 12000. It will bring you much enjoyment as you explore the fantastic worlds of embroidery and quilting. Chapter 1 Preparation Connecting the Power Supply The Memory Craft 12000 is equipped with a two way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, be sure to turn the power switch off. If you plan to use the foot control for ordinary sewing, insert the plug into the machine socket. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plug into the machine and power outlet. Turn on the power switch. Function buttons. The six function buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start Stop button. Press the Start Stop button to start the machine. Press this button again to stop the machine. However, please remember that the Start Stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button while the machine is running will slow down the machine and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when you need precise stitching control. Reverse button. The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock button when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up-Down Button Press this button to raise or lower the needle. Press your foot lifter button. The presser foot will go up or down by pressing this button. You can also raise or lower the presser foot manually with the presser foot lifter. 
thread cutter button. Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. The needle and presser foot will automatically rise after trimming the threads. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick thread, use the thread cutter on the faceplate. Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. Shift the slider to the left to decrease the speed. To increase speed, shift it to the right. Winding the bobbin. Extra spool pin. Use the extra spool pin when you need to wind the bobbin without unthreading the machine. Open the top cover and insert the extra spool pin into the hole. Place the spool of thread on the spool pin and secure it with the spool holder. Winding the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Place the spool of thread on the spool pin. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it into the guide slot and then draw the thread around into the back of the thread guide. Pass the thread through the hole in the bobbin from inside and put it on the bobbin winder spindle. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. Turn the power switch on. Start the machine. Stop the machine when the bobbin has wound a few layers, and cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Start the machine again. Stop the machine when the bobbin is fully wound and stops spinning. Return the bobbin winder spindle to its original position. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Guide the thread into the front notch on the bobbin holder. Draw the thread to the left, sliding it between the tension spring blades. Continue to draw the thread lightly until the thread slips into the side notch. Pull out about 10 centimeters of thread to the back and insert the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Turn the power switch on. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down button. For safety, Press the lockout key so the machine will not run while threading. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it down into the guide slot. Draw the thread around the corner and toward you along the channel. Pull the thread down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the thread guides under the faceplate and on the needle clamp. Needle Threader Push the threader down as far as it will go. The hook comes out through the needle eye and the threader is held in the down position. Pull the thread down around the left thread guide and then pass it from left to right under the hook. Draw the thread around the right thread guide towards you. Raise the knob slowly, and a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Remove the thread end through the needle eye and pull the thread to the left. Drawing up the bobbin thread. 
Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. While holding the needle thread with your finger, press the needle up-down button twice. Pull the needle thread to lift the loop of the bobbin thread. Draw 10 centimeters of both threads to the back and under the presser foot. Replacing the foot holder. When using the dual feed feet, darning foot or embroidery foot, you need to replace the foot holder. Press the lockout key and raise the foot with the foot lifter. Loosen the thumb screw with the screwdriver and remove the foot holder. Attach the desired foot holder, such as the embroidery foot, to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Press the lockout key to unlock. Chapter 2 Ordinary Sewing Replacing the Presser Foot more than a dozen different presser feet, including dual feed feet, are included as standard accessories with the MemoryCraft 12000. Press the lockout key and raise the presser foot with the foot lifter. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder. The presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Selecting Patterns The MemoryCraft 12000 offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. The flip-up reference chart helps you identify all the patterns at a glance. The patterns are listed in groups for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show that Straight Stitch Utility 1 has been selected. To find the desired pattern you want, select the group by pressing the group key. Browse the stitch patterns with the page key or touch ring until the desired pattern appears. Press the pattern key or the center of the touch ring to select the pattern. Manual Stitch Adjustment the MemoryCraft 12000 is programmed to optimize stitch length and width as well as thread tension for the selected pattern, and you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. Press the Adjusting key. You can adjust the zigzag width, stitch length, elongation ratio, and thread tension by pressing the plus or minus key. After adjusting the settings, press the OK key to register your settings and return to the previous screen. When you press the default key, the settings return to startup mode. Auto Thread Cutting To cut the threads after sewing, press the Thread Cutter button. The machine trims the threads, then the needle and presser foot moves up automatically. When you turn on the auto thread cutting option in the ordinary sewing setting mode, the machine trims the threads automatically after the locking stitches are finished. Sewing with the dual feed device. This machine is equipped with a built-in dual feed device to eliminate layer slippage. Various types of dual feed feet are included, such as zigzag feet, one quarter inch seam foot, and zipper foot. Please remember to use the appropriate foot holder for each presser foot. Press the lockout key and raise the presser foot with the foot lifter. Loosen the thumb screw and remove the foot holder. 
Attach the dual feed foot holder to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw with your fingers. Push the dual feed link to engage with the upper feed driver. Lower the foot and the needle. Then tighten the thumb screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Raise the needle and press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the needle plate. Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch. Slide the extension table to the left to remove it. Press the lockout key and press the presser foot lifter button to raise the presser foot. Push down the needle plate release lever and the needle plate will pop up. A warning message will appear to remind you that the needle plate is out. Remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Place the straight stitch needle plate on the machine. Set the left edge of the needle plate with the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Check to make sure that the warning message disappears and that the confirmation message appears. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Buttonholes There are various styles of buttonholes available. You can choose the appropriate buttonhole for your garment. The machine will sew a properly sized buttonhole automatically in a single step. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. The buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine-tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw. Set the stabilizer plate to the buttonhole foot. Press the lockout key. Attach the buttonhole foot and press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Place the fabric edge between the foot and stabilizer plate. Press the needle up-down key twice. Pull the fabric to the left to draw the needle and bobbin threads to the left between the buttonhole foot and the stabilizer plate. Place the fabric between the foot and stabilizer plate. Lower the needle into the starting point by turning the hand wheel. Lower the presser foot and pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Begin sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Sewing applications. Sewing applications are a unique feature that provides you with 12 useful sewing applications. When you press the Sewing Applications category key, you will be able to choose the right stitch and its appropriate setting for your fabric and sewing project. The machine will automatically set up for the selected project. Variable zigzag. Go to page 2 by pressing the page key. Press the quilting key and the variable zigzag key. Select your desired stitch and change the foot to the appropriate one indicated on the LCD screen. For example, select the stitch center 2. Press the lockout key and change the presser foot to the free motion quilting zigzag foot QV. Sew at slow to medium speed. Control the zigzag width with the knee lifter. The further you push the knee lifter, the wider the zigzag stitch width goes. Free motion quilting. Go to page 2 by pressing the page key. 
Press the quilting key and the free quilting key. Select your desired stitch and change the foot to the appropriate one indicated on the LCD screen. Programming a combination pattern. You can program stitch patterns as well as letters to make a pattern combination. Press the category selection key and press the satin stitch key. Press the program key so you can program the pattern combination. Select pattern S10 and pattern S4. The patterns are automatically programmed. Press the mirror image key and select pattern S10. A mirror image of the pattern is programmed. Select the auto lock stitch to program it. The machine will sew the pattern combination. Lock off the stitches at the end and then stop automatically. Press the thread cutter button and the machine will trim the threads. Chapter 3 Embroidery Setting up for embroidering Turn the power switch off. Remove the cover. Set the embroidery unit onto the back side of the machine. Slide the embroidery unit along the machine body to the right and push the embroidery unit firmly until it fits securely. Be sure to use the embroidery foot and the straight stitch needle plate. Turn the power switch on and press the mode selection key. Press down the carriage arm release lever. Swing out the carriage arm until it locks in the fully extended position. A warning message will appear. Press the OK key and the carriage moves to the starting position. Select the appropriate hoop for the pattern you wish to embroider and set your fabric in the hoop. Attach the hoop to the carriage, inserting the lock pin of the hoop into the hole in the carriage. Turn the knob clockwise to secure the hoop. Selecting patterns from built-in designs. Press the design key and the pattern selection window opens. You can browse the pattern list by design category or by hoop size. Browse the list with the page key until the desired pattern is shown. Select the desired pattern by pressing the pattern selection key. Editing the embroidery designs. In the editing mode, you can edit and combine designs to create your own original embroidery. Press the editing mode key to open the editing window. You need to select the appropriate hoop before editing the designs. Press the hoop selection key and select the hoop you wish to use. You can open the built-in designs, monograms, and designs from the USB memory into the editing window. Select the data source for the design you wish to open. Select the desired pattern in the pattern selection window. The editing window appears displaying the pattern you selected. Press the layout keys to move the design in the editing window or drag the design to the desired position. To change the size of the design, press the resize key and the resize window opens. Press the plus or minus key to change the design size. To make a copy of the design, press the duplicate key. When you need to delete the design, select the design and press the delete key. Press the arrow key on the toolbar to show other editing tools available. Press the rotate keys to open the rotate window. Press one of the four keys to rotate the design clockwise or counterclockwise. Press the flip keys to open the flip window. Press the flip keys to flip the design horizontally or vertically. Press the OK key and the Ready to Sew window appears. Creating an original design. Let's make an original design by combining a built-in design and lettering. 
Press the Edit key in the Editing window for Hoop SQ23 opens. Press the Pattern Selection key and press the Designs key. Press the Previous Page key to go to page 4 of 4. Select Others in the Ganaha Collection menu and select Pattern 1. Press the Resize key and reduce the size to 80%. Press the OK key. Press the Pattern Selection key and press the Monogram key. Enter SWEET -E and a small space, then H, O, M, and E. Press the OK key. Press the Downward Arrow key on the toolbar and press the Arc key. The Arc Layout window opens. Press the lower arc key three times and press the enlarge key four times. Press the OK key and move the lettering under the design. Press the downward arrow key on the toolbar and press the color key and select the desired color for the lettering. Press the OK key. Removing the embroider unit. Remove the embroider unit after embroidery sewing. Remove the embroidery hoop from the carriage. Press the Move Carriage key and the Move Carriage dialog box will open. Press the Return Carriage key. Press the OK key to return the carriage to the storage position. Push down the carriage arm release lever and retract the carriage arm. Turn the power switch off. Press the Embroidery Unit Release button and remove the embroidery unit to the left. Replace the cover. Chapter 4 File Management Saving the designs as a stitched data file. You can save the created designs as a stitched data file for future use. Press the File Save key to open the File Save window. Select where you want to save the file. The file name is assigned automatically starting from number M001. If you wish to change the file name, press the Rename key to open the keyboard window. Enter the new name and press the OK key. Press the OK key to save the design under the new name. Opening the file. When you press the Open File key, the Open File window appears. You can open the file to sew the embroidery designs saved in the machine's internal memory or the USB memory. Select the location of the file directory. Press the folder icon to open the folder containing your desired file. The file list is displayed. Press the desired file icon and the embroidery window of the saved design appears on the screen. Chapter 5 Customizing the Machine Settings You can customize the machine settings in the setting mode. Press the setting key to enter the setting mode. There are four setting modes, the common setting, ordinary sewing setting, embroidery setting, and language selection. For example, let's customize the maximum embroidery sewing speed. Press the Embroidery Setting Mode key to open the Embroidery Mode setting window. Go to page 4 of 6 by pressing the Page key. Press the Plus key to increase the speed or press the Minus key to decrease the speed. 
To activate your custom setting, press the OK key. Chapter 6, Horizon Link. You can edit embroidery designs and create your own original stitch patterns on the PC using the Horizon Link software package. Please install Horizon Link software found on the CD-ROM included with the machine's standard accessories onto your PC. Connecting the machine to your PC. First, turn on the power of both the computer and the machine. When the computer and sewing machine have both booted up, connect them with the USB cable included with the standard accessories. Connect the Type-A connector to the PC and the Type-B connector to the sewing machine. When connecting the PC with the machine for the first time, the MemoryCraft 12000 USB driver is being installed onto the PC. Double-click the Horizon Link icon on the desktop to start the Horizon Link application. Now you are ready to enjoy the benefits of the direct machine to PC Link. Sending embroidery designs to the machine. Click Embroidery Edit on the Home tab to select your hoop. Click Remote to enable remote control of the machine. Select the designs you wish to sew from the PC. You can also edit the design on the PC. Click Process on the Home tab to send the designs to the machine. The displays on both the PC and the machine automatically change to the Ready to Sew mode. Now you are ready to sew embroidery designs. Sending Created Stitch to the Machine You can create an original stitch pattern for ordinary sewing using Stitch Composer. Click Send to send the stitch to the machine. The stitch pattern will be saved in the Created Stitch CS group in the machine's internal memory. Chapter 7 Care and Maintenance Before carrying out any maintenance or cleaning, be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Replacing the needle Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with a screwdriver. Cleaning the hook area We recommend that you clean the hook area at least once a month. Remove the needle and presser foot. Remove the extension table. Push down the needle plate release lever and remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin and bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter mechanism, and hook grace with a lint brush. Clean the hook grace and the bobbin holder with a soft, dry cloth. Insert the bobbin holder so that the knob fits next to the stopper in the hook race. Set the left edge of the needle plate with the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Turn the power switch on to make sure a warning message does not appear. Press the foot lifter button to lower the foot. Turn the power switch off. 
Attach the needle and presser foot. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents to clean the machine body. Wipe the machine body using a soft cloth soaked in warm water and mild detergent. Regular maintenance will ensure that your MemoryCraft 12000 runs trouble-free for many years.